It's the sort of invitation you wait a lifetime to receive. Come to the Mojave, he says. We're camping out next to the Trona Pinnacle. They're weird and beautiful, he says. There will be beers and burgers and tequila and a bunch of gearheads and techno freaks hanging out together. We're gonna show you how we're reinventing cars, he says. And we're gonna go spine crushing fast. This is Mouse McCoy. He's a sort of hot rod renaissance man with a vision. One where the cars of tomorrow are designed by artificial intelligence. Right now we're in this phase where like this stuff seemed like science fiction but it's actually science fact. <laughs> like we're living science fact right before our eyes and to be a part of it just feels, feels good, man. Mouse's latest venture is called Hackrod. The goal is to blend human emotion and technology to spur an automotive revolution. To do this, Mouse and his team measure everything they can. They wire up cars with dozens of sensors to see how the metal performs. Then they create 3D maps of their racing courses to figure out exactly how the car behaves. And on top of all that, they strap brainwave monitors on their heads to detect stress. I think it's safe to say that as I strap in for today's test, I'm showing signs of anxiety already. Hopefully we'll see pure panic in the uh, brain monitor. <laughs> The Hackrod team doesn't start with an off-the-shelf car chassis. They use artificial intelligence software to come up with designs and fabricate them on a 3D printer. Design software and new manufacturing techniques have gotten good enough to allow a small group of people to build custom cars from scratch. We're getting in this mass world where just design decisions are dictated. Your aesthetic is dictated by some corporate strategy somewhere and it's like, <laughs> you know, and that was that hot rodder, you know, sort of thing. And, and a lot of our mission here is going to be about individualization, like having your own yeah. design, having your own vehicle. This is a full car. Felix Holst used to oversee the Hot Wheels and Matchbox brands for Mattel. He's a car junkie who quit the Mattel gig to start Hack Rod with Mouse. Yeah. We think this may be the first chassis that's been engineered with artificial intelligence. That AI sucks up data collected from the desert field tests. Felix gives it a few guidelines, and it spits out a body design. You test it, feed the data back in, and get an even better car out. What used to take years and hundreds of engineers can now be done in a matter of months, or so Hackrod hopes to prove. We both come from that kind of hot rod culture, that hacker culture, and we, we looked at this as like, look, we're not Ford or Ferrari or whoever. We don't have hundreds and hundreds of engineers to start designing a chassis from the ground up. And there's a real democratization of creativity and design going on that we, that we, that we stand for. This car is called the Mule. It was the first built using hack rod technology and it's been utterly abused by Mouse over the course of three days. Soon, it'll be time to head back to LA and let the computers do their work to replace it with Mule 2.0. What's your vision for where this company is in like five years? In five years, I think we will have been a significant driver in the automatic manufacturing world that's coming. Yeah.